It is Marketing Agent TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. It is a 30 minute awesome packet that comprises brand news, brand in focus, and industry conversation, all in a mix and comparison, thorough and in depth analysis aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Olua Bukola Muni. Stay tuned. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand idea. We begin with brand news where we bring you the latest development around brands and in the field of marketing and advertising in Nigeria and around the world. Now on brand news. As the economic pressure items across all levels, some consumers have shared how the ash economic situation in the country has helped them to adopt pragmatic spending patterns by prioritizing their needs while foregoing ostentatious buying, which are probably less important at the period due to the economic austerity. Some of them also added that the pressure on their disposable income has also led to downtrading, which has become a means of surviving the impact of the persistent rise in inflationary pressure on the prices of goods and services in the country. A recent analysis made available by Future Market Insight Research Platform revealed that the global malt beverage market size would accelerate to 62.7 billion US dollars by 2033, showing a comparative analysis of the previous year 2022. The research body indicated that it was estimated at 32.7 billion US dollars in 2023 exhibiting growth rate at 6.7% between the forecast periods. With a demonstration of optimism, the data showed that sales of malt beverages soared positively in the past few years, fueled by various innovative infusions which have continuously transformed the global market scenario with a vision of creating health-conscious products for consumers. It maintained that as more people become health-conscious, they're turning to non-alcoholic malt beverages to get the same pleasure. One of the notable research platforms, Business Research Insights, has reported that the global campaign management software market size is expected to reach 3.1 billion in 2028, exhibiting a cumulative annual growth rate of 12.0% during the focus period, recalling that it was 3.6 billion in 2021. The research body and its previous reports observed that in 2023, the market witnessed a steady rate and with the rising adoption of strategies by key players, the market is expected to rise over the projected horizon in the future. There is also an indication that irrespective of the intense competition due to the global recovery, there is also an indication that irrespective of the intense competition due to the global recovery, that investors are still aiming for more new investments that will further boost its growth. Global media agency Publicis Media has added something new to its creative portfolio of clientele with a global media assignment of Spotify. The account was estimated at 240 million US dollars in 2023. Meanwhile, the agency has created a dedicated unit called One Vibe to service the new business. Publicis' emergence came after a review that began last year, although the deal is currently under interpublic media agencies, whose official handoff is set to take place in June this year. Attesting to the new business relationship, a Spotify representative noted that Spotify will continue to place social performance buys through its in-house performance social buying team. Mark Azan, Vice President of Marketing and Partnerships at Spotify, stated that they look forward to a new chapter of brand media and performance marketing excellence with Publicis One Vibe. Next is Brand the Focus, right after the break. Where's Glory? Excuse me, ma'am. Glo! Oh, where's Glo now? I dare hear you. Glo, Glo, don't go village. Tell all our customer, Abby. Everybody pay attention. 
See, eh? Now, Global Ekete 10X. Now, he might they take tension, my customers. Now, he they dash me 10 times the credits when I load. Why even some me double data join? Eh? Yeah. Yes. Wait, so, so with one fire, we they give all of us, so you they enjoy up to 15,000 naira credit and data. And I say I never finish you. See, when I say we enjoy, if we not join Global Ekete 10X, we not go get 1,000 naira welcome credit. Really? <laughs> Gulo, you don't win. On a CD here. <laughs> Hello, please. I'm looking for Glow. Please says now Glow be day fine. Now Glow be day go. Okay, so Enjoy ten times the value of your recharge on Glow Barricade 10X. You also get one thousand naira for calls and data and double data bonus on your subscription. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Now on branding focus. The traditional approach of solely providing media buying and planning services is no longer prevalent among practitioners in the media buying industry. Recognizing the need to remain competitive in today's business landscape, media buying and planning agencies have expanded their service offerings to encompass a wider range of options. Such innovative agencies are moving along with the trend while providing solutions and offering value to clients. Some of these offers include content creation, audience segmentation, measurement and even data-driven insights to brands and businesses. In a report by a research firm, Facts.mr, as of 2022, the worldwide market for media purchasing services is valued at 69 billion US dollars. It is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 6.2%, aiming to reach an estimated 125.9 billion US dollars by 2032. While PWC's report on global advertising sector is projected to reach 1 trillion US dollars by 2027, the advertising sector is projected to grow by 7.6% between 2022 and 2023. Africa's advertising spend is projected to grow from 10.3 billion US dollars to 11.8 billion US dollars from 2023 to 2027. At a cumulative annual growth rate of 2.8%, the African projected growth rate is linked to availability of mobile technology and internet access. Examples of media agencies that are evolving with current realities are Algorithm Media, PhD Media, Space Universe, and many more. Many media agencies in Nigeria are also embracing emerging technologies such as augmented reality, virtual reality, and artificial intelligence to create immersive and personalized experiences. These technologies allow brands to engage with their audiences in new and exciting ways. Example of such is Space Universe, when it unveiled the new age of radio advertisement called Radio Ad Spread, an AI-driven global advertisement platform that digitizes the operation of radio adverts while providing real-time reports of the campaign. According to Space Universe, the platform enables business owners, advertising agencies, and marketing managers to easily create and manage radio advertisements remotely and connect with radio stations across Nigeria from anywhere in the world. As the industry moves forward, media agencies will continue a range of both challenges and possibilities. The continuous evolution of technology will significantly influence the media industry. To remain competitive, media agencies must adjust to these changes and devise inventive strategies for utilizing them to their clients' advantage. That was Branding Focus. Next is Industry Conversation, where we have discussions with industry thought leaders who have distinguished themselves in the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Today we'll be having the concluding part of our conversation with the lead partner of CMC Connect LLP, Mr. Yomi Badejo Okusanya. Join me after the break. Hello, my bro. Man, the rain is so heavy here. And there's so much traffic. I think we should go spawn, huh? Not a chance. All right, sir. We don't quit, guys. I'll be there. Done.
Two files received. I'm on my way. Take first right in 50 meters and you're there. Copy that. Hi, sir. Where are you? Guess where? Two minutes, two minutes, move! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Runway X. The future of fashion showcasing. Very impressive. How did you pull that off? With Nigeria's top tech talents. And glow. Power your relentless ambition with ultra high speed data. Glow with pride. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Okay, so let's talk about the NPR week yeah. that is forthcoming. Yeah. I know that you are the chair for that community. That's right. Tell us more about this event. Okay, the April 22nd to 26th, 2024, they will hold the inaugural edition of the Nigeria Public Relations Week, which um, a, in Abekuta is at the June 12th Cultural Center, Abekuta, Ogun State. Our host government will be, of course, Ogun State, and we're expecting the governor to declare it open. Uh, and I'm happy to announce here, this is the first time we're announcing it that the central bank governor will be with us at yeah. that time. Now, what are we doing? We're going to bring together um, the, uh, we're going to talk about um, economy. And every one of us, when we talk now, is the economy we talk about. Now, I believe that public relations is like an injection. When it's in a small bottle called a fire, it's not potent. You can't drink it. Mm. When you stick the syringe into it, the needle through this, and you pull it out into the syringe, it's still not potent. When is it potent? It is when it is applied. Yes, Either on your arm, your bum, your thigh, anywhere that it is applied, even into, on your stomach. So, our public relations must be applied. And it must be seen as a solution to national issues and national challenges. Right now, the biggest challenge we have is that of the economy. Now, let's build a correlation between reputation and economy. Economy. Anywhere you see a strong economy, check it out. The reputation is right. Check it. Check it. I'm yet to see one country that has a strong economy and the reputation is poor. Oh. Check it. There's a direct correlation. So what are we saying? We're bringing people who are in charge of our economy. We're looking at the, the, the Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, bringing him, bringing uh, um, 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 the Central Bank Governor, the Special Advisor to the President on Policy, uh, Ms. Adiza Balausman, these are decision makers, and we're bringing them into a room where we ourselves will be speaking and engaging with them. In the past, as public relations practitioners, we speak to ourselves hmm. in a room, and then we have what we call professional constipation, hmm. because we are speaking to ourselves. Yes. It's going, just going around in our system. Now let's express it to people and say, look, we can work it together. We can work at this thing together. Let's come together. So now, what is this? It will, we're expecting over 2,000 delegates wow. from across the country and even outside the country. 
We're having over 25 sessions. Over in 25. 25 sessions over the, the days of the conference, um, dealing with various aspects of public relations, uh, talking about entertainment. Look at it now. Uh, UMG just bought into Maven Records. Hmm. Funke Akedele just grossed 1.5. Where is public relations? Okay, great. So, 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 so the whole essence of it Okay. is for us to be able to sell to our critical stakeholders the value of public relations as a strategic management uh, tool or discipline. So what that means is that whichever sector of the economy you are, destination marketing, the business of public relations consulting, um, blue ocean economy, digital, every one of them needs strategic communications, public relations, to enhance their growth and their sustainability. So we're going to be together in the room. The focal objective of the Nigerian public relations at Bechtel 2024 is to bring, to, to sell the value of public relations. To sell the value yes, of public right. relations. Okay, great. So what, just tell us briefly, what informed this initiative by the NIPL? Again, against the background of what you said, public relations needs public relations. Guess what? We do it for our clients. The client will come and give us a brief. Uh, um, public relations, there's what you call the, I think it's the transfer or communication process where you move from uh, obscurity um, to awareness, I can't remember, it's been so long. But you know, you move. So I, I told you that there's a lot of ambiguity concerning our profession. And it's high time that we beam the searchlight of what we do on ourselves. Physician, let us heal ourselves. Let us explain, let us express to people the value that we bring to the table. Why, what would that earn us? Increased respect. Increased participation, and of course, increased remuneration. Okay, great. So you, you mentioned some of the big weeks, weeks that are uh, expecting at the event. Sorry, let me also not forget the minister, our own minister of uh, information and strategy, uh, Alaji Idris Mohammed Malagi, who is a fellow of the Nigerian Institute of Publication, and he will be our chief host. Oh, great. So I, I wanted to ask that what are some of the, what are the other plans aside the big weeks that we're expecting to see at the event? What are some of the other plans that are on the way, you know, the other plans for the success of this event? A lot of has gone in. We're working very hard. We're working assiduously, you know, to, to, to host 2,000 people. It's not a small uh, thing. So... Um, we, we've broken up into subcommittees which are headed or manned by various uh, uh, very capable practitioners, senior practitioners, and in various aspects, we have the marketing subcommittee, we have the public relations and stakeholders subcommittee, we have the training and faculty subcommittee, uh, then we have the events and logistics. We have accredited over 30-something hotels in Abekota who have all given us discounts uh, so people can come in and uh, we have a security committee group, work group. That security work group is headed by the first public relations officer, Mr. Muiwa Adejobi. Mm -hmm. uh, he's leading that team. Um, we want Abekuta to be an experience oh. for anybody that is coming. And I hope that marketing, has, anyway, you're already supporting us. You are one of our partners. So I hope your crew will be there. Um, we, we, we are inviting people to come to Abekuta. You can arrive by road, or you can arrive by train. We're also asking people, especially from other parts of the country, to come and experience the rail travel from Lagos to uh, Beokuta. Like I said, then we're going to have a lot of uh, evening social events. And one of the ones that excite me the most is what I call Adire on the runway. Adire mm. on runway. Yeah. It's Adire Kutor and the endless possibility that it offers. Wow. That shows you that you can, Adire can be in any form 
you can use it. In fact, I'm hoping that on that day, we'll see an Adira wedding dress. You understand? <laughs> um, so it, it, it can be anything. It can be anything. And I am glad, again, to announce on this platform that only this morning, Her Excellency, the wife of the governor of uh, Ogun State, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodun, has accepted to be the special guest of honor oh. at the Adire on wrong way. Let us take our own Adire. Let's put it on the international wrong way. The advisor uh, on that, to that um, particular event will be the past president of uh, Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, Mrs. Fumi Ajila Ladipo. She also accepted to be the advisor for that evening. Um, so what are we doing? We're putting our best foot forward. O on another day, we're going to see the tourist sites in Abekuta. So we're going to Olumorok. Wow. We're going to the house of Ramson Kuti. We're going to uh, Obasanjo Library. Uh, we're going to the Adire Market in Itoku to see how Adire itself is being made. I can only imagine how I can only imagine the experience. I can't wait to you know get into the experience. With you. So tell us, how would you describe the response of stakeholders to this initiative? Warm, very heartwarming. I just told you the central bank governor got word while we are sitting and we're preparing for this that the central bank governor has confirmed that he will um, you know he will take the keynote address. Um, my older brother, Mr. Waliadu. Uh, I know I will, he will. He hasn't given me his formal response, but I'm sure he will give me this formal response. And I've told you about the other people, the governor uh, of Ogun State and the government of Ogun State. They are looking forward to receiving us. Uh, part of what we are going to also have okay. is we are going to have something with the traditional rulers, whereby wow. we will use we will um, have an interactive session on how they can use public relations to en enhance relevance in their various domain in contemporary Nigeria. Um, so the stakeholders, the, uh, um, the acceptance has been very encouraging. Let me start with Marketing Edge. Um, John Ajayi called me and said to me, YBO, we're on board. Um, I can tell you that we already have on board as broadcast partners, um, channels television. Oh. We have Arise TV. We have um, AIT, the Dark Communications Group. Uh, we're speaking with NTA as we speak. And I'm sure we can also count in on TVC, uh, amongst many other broadcast partners. Just again, as I was speaking to you, there's a call, the last one I took. Uh, some outdoor company is offering us outdoor sites to put our materials. Uh, another outdoor company has given us sites at the Murita Lai Mohammed International and um, Murita Lai Mohammed Airport, the A, A, what you call MMA2. But the latest one, the slogan which we have created for the Nigeria Public Relations Week is Nigeria, not Nigerian, Nigeria Public Relations Week is boldly public relations. Hmm. Boldly. Boldly public. Oh. Why? We are no longer apologetic. We are no, no longer sorry for who we are or what we bring to the table. We are no longer um, backroom people. We are bold. We are courageous. We are affirmative. We are intentional. We are deliberate. My favorite Yoruba adage, Ajano, Ukoja Morin Kofili, Kabariru, Kakiariru. If you see us, you know that we are who we are. That's my message. It's been absolute uh, informative, entertaining, and you know, it's just been a very interesting time here on the program with you. Thank you so much for joining us on the Thank program. Thank you, Vuki. Go and join Public Relations. Go and join Nigerian Institute of Public Relations. Bring your form to me. I will sign it. I will endorse you. Be a member of the Nigeria. We need people like you. Thank you, sir. I'll definitely consider that. Thank you. And that's the much we can take on this week's episode of Marketing Edge on TV. Join us same time next week for another informative episode. I am Oluwa Bukola Omani. Bye for now.
Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century, speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Voted as the best TV station of the year. TVC News breaks into the core of every event as they happen. Following all nationwide big and impactful stories. Without the news from every perspective. Covering every human angle. I am Veronica, bringing you the news you would want to watch. Every weekday on Business Nigeria, we uncover the secrets of the financial world. Breaking down intricate economic and financial matters. We analyze the stock market, shares, bonds, and the thrilling world of cryptocurrencies. We unveil and analyze complex policies of the CDN and other governments parasitical as they affect your everyday life, keeping you a step ahead every time. Okay, okay. This is the end of it. Facts matter. Our team dives deep to separate facts from popular opinion. We simplify complex government policies as it impacts your everyday life, helping you navigate the ever-changing financial landscape. Watch Business Nigeria every weekday at 2 p.m. only on TVC News. First, with breaking news. There is always more to a story than the discriminate line. The part of a story that is not told casts a shadow. It's like the part of an object that is not reached by light. On TV News, I'm able to explore the many angles there are to a story, talking to stakeholders, asking the difficult questions, and digging for facts. I believe the viewers are able to make a better decision if they're well informed and understand not just a part, but the complete story. TV News, first with Breaking News. Good governance at any level is characterized by four pillars. Transparency, accountability, fairness, and responsibility. The Shei Makide-led administration since inception has upheld all the traits, making life more meaningful for the people of your state. Resting on the four pillars of the administration, which includes education, health, security, and expansion of the economy through agribusiness, the people have continued to feel the impact of good governance. On your update, you'll be opportune to see our father the Shei Makide government has brought governance to every doorstep across the state. Join us weekly at this time for insightful moments on your state's setting the pace. TVC News, wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking 